So, I've got my ice cream to represent gelato, cookies to represent pastries, and my cup of coffee. So, this was basically my staple food while I was in France. If you have kept up to date with my plethora of Insta stories, excuse the spam, you would know that I've spent the last few days in Paris, um, the city of love, of passion, of friendship. On the Sunday that I was there, I spent the entire day in our Paris church and I spent time with the, the team and their sense of enthusiasm and collaboration was contagious. You want to put a black cloth around the, the sound of yeah. the wheel. Three, two, and two, and four. <laughs> it made creating friendships, new friendships, really, really easy. I have to say something about the weather because, you know, I'm British and that's literally the only thing we ever talk about. It was better than being in London. It wasn't hot, but it was warm and it was still okay to go outside and have a little bit of fun in the sun. There was something very quintessential about Paris, it's from the romantic, rustic looking apartments. I really like those buildings. To the random guy that I saw who walked out onto his balcony as if his only job in life is to create those Romeo and Juliet moments. On my second night there, a few of us took a really long walk all the way down to the Louvre. Louvre. Steve, I'm not French. Anyway, the Louvre. So we're arriving at the river. So we're going to look at the river and wave at the Louvre. Is it over there? It's right there. I think it's like where that building is. But what, the, like, this building? Like on the other side of the building. Like, if you were here, you could hear like this beautiful, it's like Indian chime music being played. This is the last thing I expected. I thought I would just come right into the Louvre. Wow, it's stunning. It's such a drama queen. What? There is the Louvre. Yes! Wow. Yes, through there. Not this. Stop. Back to the hotel. Until we changed our minds and went to the Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Steve. Where are we going, Rory? Uh, we're following Andrea. Uh, we're going to the Notre Dame. Dame. Not Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'm enjoying the atmosphere, whereas Andrea is just in a phone. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I was like following the map. So. <laughs> Hi! Hey! Oh, yeah, we have to oh. do ooh la la. Oh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> With the fingers or without the fingers? Ooh la la. Ooh la, la. <laughs> this is the Notre Dame. Keep in the middle, keep in the middle, people. Up, up
Next stop, back to our hotel! Until we discovered this. Like, where are we? Where did Paris go? It was like I was in some Las Vegas alleyway. I mean, I haven't actually been to Las Vegas, so I don't actually know. Oh, messy. This was the busiest place I had seen. There was everything. There was entertainment, there was dancing, there was street passion. Man, I so wish I had filmed this particular thing that I just saw while Rory was spending an eternity buying our pancakes Two women were having a brouhaha less than two meters away from me. They were going for it hard. They were shoving each other, pushing. It was like physical. It went on for ages. There were tears. And it seemed like I was the only one interested. This sort of thing must happen a lot in Paris. The thing that made this feel like a really weird movie was right next to this female couple was another couple, like so close to each other and this couple was doing a waltz the entire time these guys were arguing. It was like, what is going on here? So the funny thing about this evening, other than the stuff I've just mentioned, was as we were walking back to our hotel, Andrea was the one giving directions. I'm pretty tired, it's like pushing morning. Yeah, so this one. <laughs> and these guys are just looking for directions to get us home. Are we there? Are we, getting, are we getting there? No. Where's that? <laughs> Home is there. Home? Yeah. Far, far away. So we must be, we must be like here, are we? Yeah. So it's at least it's 10 there. minutes. So we're just looking at the map because Andrea has just revealed <laughs> to us that she actually has no idea where she's leading us to. <laughs> so we're like, what? <laughs> what? Guys, my thighs are really burning. My feet are like <laughs> lead. But fortunately, thanks to the wonderful navigational skills of Andrea, <laughs> we are now back at our hotel, or at least we will be in just another half hour <laughs> down this road. I'm back at the hotel. Finally made it back. One thing I did notice about my trip there was how atrocious my French actually is. It's like completely non-existent. Counting from 10 to 15 in French, en Francaise. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, oh, I forgot what 10 is. D, onze, <laughs> what are you doing? So all in all, I had a blast. Could I live in Paris? Absolutely. Maybe. Only in the summer though. I think next time we'll try southern France. Goodbye! Je voudrais un pain au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Fini! How was that? Yay!